Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Susie Q Knickknacks Reseller. And before we begin, please hit the like and subscribe and share this with all your friends. I'm trying to grow a little audience or a following, and it's kind of hard to grow when you're new on YouTube. Gotta get the word out there about me to everybody. Tonight, we're going to be focusing on mainly clothes, but I got a few hard goods I'll throw in. And here's a little reminder Christmas pin. Christmas is around the corner. I'm going to start the uh, list of my Christmas things in the next few days. I got a few here to show you, but I got quite a bit upstairs to bring down a list. And let's get the uh, hard goods out of the way first. I went uh, to the thrift store over the last week, two of them. I went back to the Savage Army that's running the half price sale. They've been running half price every day for 15 weeks now. I sure hope they're not closing out. They're the only one in the whole area left to go to, and that's about 80 miles from me, from where I used to live. I picked up these. These are Cole, Cole Han, H-A-A-N, I guess that's Han. It's kind of like a loafer, men's loafer, boat shoe. They look brand new. It looks like they haven't even been worn. On the bottom, perfect shape. No wear on them, no, no dirt, no smudges. They're a denim material on top here. Uh, this part here is leather. It's a penny loafer. That's where you would put a penny if you had one. A little penny loafer. These were marked $9.98. So I only paid $5 for them. Beautiful little boat shoe. Comfortable. They're a size uh, 8.5M. Men's medium, 8.5. And, and I looked them up on comps before I bought them. And they run about around the $35, $40 range. So that would be a nice little profit. Pay 5 bucks and get maybe $35 to $40 for them. Okay, put them back over here. Sticking with shoes, here are some Brahma boots, work boots. Men's leather suede work boots. They're in good shape. I just need to dust them off a little bit, got a little dust on the bottom, but other than that, they're in nice shape. I paid, uh, what was these? Yep, $5 for these. No, take that back. Paid $3. Tag says $5.98, so I paid $3 for these, half price. And they will go about between $25 and $35. And they are, it says, men's eight or women's nine and a half. So these are unisex, can be men or ladies, either one. They're in good condition. I will be listing these in the next few days. That's pretty good, buying a pretty decent pair of shoes for $3 and selling them for almost $30. That's a good bit of profit. Okay, here are my best items of the show. I'll go ahead and show them to you now because I'm in, in the shoes anyway. These gorgeous leather boots. Look at the look at the work and design on these, the tool work. Look how beautiful that is through there. They're a brown, kind of a reddish brown, what you call a Cordovan, Cordovan or Cordovan. The heels are in nice shape. Uh, the bottom of the heel says Dan Post. I don't know if you can see that a little bit, Dan Post. Uh, the height here is about a 14 inch shaft up here. These are ladies, seven double E. Got the nice little pointy toe. They're in good condition. I'll, bu I'll buff them up a little bit, make them shinier. And I looked up online, these run anywhere from the, around the $100 range, just about. Between 100 and 125. If they're brand new, new ones sell, gosh, over $200, $300 for new ones. But these are very, very close to new. No scratches on them. Very little wear. They're a gorgeous pair. And I paid $15 for these. That's not too bad for a pair of good leather boots. And that was half price. They were $29.99. I paid half of that, $15. And I'll probably get anywhere between $80 and $100 for them. Show you a close-up of them on the design on them. I wish I could wear them, but my feet aren't anywhere near a seven. <laughs> okay. Oh. Show you this pretty little item here. It's vase. This looks very unusual. It caught my eye. I saw this at the Salvage Army twice. So the second time I went back, I went ahead and bought it. And it was only, the half price was two fifty. I just love that red cranberry look. Uh, the, the, the lines on here, the way it, it cuts up this way, kind of remind me of a Ice cream cone in a way, or I would think it's probably Art Deco. To me, it looks kind of like Art Deco design, where the lines down through here, starts down here, and it just swirls around. 
Now, a lot of people might pass this up because the bottom says FTD. I know a lot of people don't like to buy FTD, but I wonder if it looks gorgeous like this. Because a lot of these vases were made by actual really nice glass houses. They made vases for FTD. You just put the FTD label on them. It doesn't have any other maker's mark on it. But I thought this was just too pretty to pass up. A few weeks ago, I saw another gorgeous uh, FTD vase. It was a light sky blue. Had some gorgeous lines on it. I paid about five bucks for it. Sold that vase for almost $30. And it was an Art Deco design again. But I just thought this was so pretty. Where it swirls around. <laughs> and I was surprised when I did a comp on this on eBay. I put in what it looked like, the FTD. Uh, cranberry swirl vase and it came back with a comp of $36. I had no idea it would comp for that high. So I went ahead and listed it and I've already had several watches on it already in the last few days. And I do send watches uh, offers when I get them. I don't mind sending offers to people. It helps my sales a little bit. Why not? Now here's some Christmas items. I picked this up uh, probably early in the year. I've been picking up Christmas all year and I like to save it for Put it on in the fall, put it on sale, or list it at my store around the fall. You see, I paid $3.99 for this. Well, I probably got that for half price, probably $2. Nice little gravy boat. It's not attached. I don't have the tape off, but the, the boat's not attached to the plate. It is separate. On the bottom is uh, Heritage Collection from Better Homes and Garden. I just love the design on it. Very traditional Christmas look. Almost everybody has gravy around Christmas, Thanksgiving. So well, this won't be a hard sale. Here's another vintage item. Now these are, I'm not sure how far these go back. I can tell from the box, it's, it's got some age to it. These are four 16 ounce tumblers that have polar bears on them. I picked these up several months ago. I got this whole set of four for a dollar at a thrift store. And they're still new in the box. Never been used, never been taken out, I don't think. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to list these in the next few days. One more Christmas item. Little cookie jar. <laughs> I just love this one. So I got this last week. And I think I got it up there for Salvation Army. I did. And it was half price, $1.50. It's called East West Distributing Company. It is made in China, but that's okay. It's still adorable. There's nothing wrong with it. Well, has one tiny little flea bite back here on the rim of the cookie jar, but it kind of blends in with all the little white dots of the snow. You can't even tell it because it blends in with all the little specks of the snow. But all the other pieces are in good shape. There's a little Christmas tree on top. There's a little teddy bear toy going to somebody. Uh, what's that? Mmm. Looks like a little drummer boy, a bell, a little ball. He's all present that Santa's going to deliver. The Santa Claus is in good shape. You see his face there? <laughs> I thought that would be adorable. Somebody would like this little cookie jar. Mm. Okay. That's all the hard good. Nope, here's one more. You know I like to pick up new stuff in a box. This is a new item. Brand new. Everything's in there. I took it out, looked at it, tested it. Well, I didn't test it, but it's brand new, so it should work fine. It's a voltage converter. It converts foreign electricity to North American standard. So if anybody's going overseas, traveling, you have to take this with you so you can convert the electricity to your plugs, your outlets, which you take with you. So that everything you take with you, like your hair dryer, or, or if you're gonna move over there, you might need this. Now this is new in box, new old stock in box. I paid $2 for this, half price at Salvation Army. And I looked online, these go around $25. So that's going to turn a $2 item into $25. That's almost all profit. After fees and little incidental fees, I'll be about a $20 profit on that. Not bad. Okay, now down to clothing. I need some help on this item. Uh, anybody out there watching this can give me an idea on a patch. This happens to be... Whew, that is a woodland design. It's a NATO military tactical jacket with a uh, woodland pattern, camo pattern. And it's got four pockets, two here, two on each side. 
four pockets all on the front. What's confusing me though is I don't know what this patch means. There's a patch on the side right there. It's a tree with three gold stars. Could that mean a three star general wore this? I have no idea. I looked up different NATO patches. I could not find this one in particular. The tag in, in the side, inside has extra large, and it gives a odd size here. I mean, the measurements. It gives a height. Anybody can wear this from 67 to 71 inches tall. The chest says above 45, and then it says NATO size, 7080-1424. I have no idea what NATO size means, but this is an uh, authentic military tactical jacket. And I did a comp on this when I picked it up and found it at the Salvation Army. These sell anywhere from the $70 to $80 range. And I got this for only $250 half price. This is going to bring quite a bit of profit. This is a good little flip right here. That's why it's nice to get into clothing. You can make a good little profit with clothing, not just hard goods. I like to sell different items like that. Oh, on my chair. I just see one more hard good I left. Actually, this, these are new items that I picked up at Salvage Army. A set of two cat bowls. What well, says for cat? I don't see why a dog couldn't drink out of it or eat. It's a double double bowl for food and water. It has a picture of a cat on it, but I think a dog could use it also. They are brand new, never been used. I got these for a dollar fifty each, and they sell anywhere between fifteen twenty dollars. Pet items are usually uh, easy to sell on eBay and other platforms because people love to buy stuff for their pets. Cats or dogs, either one. Back to clothes now. Here's another camouflage item I bought. These are pants for hunters or sportsmen to wear. These are a little bit heavier, like for winter time. They got the all the little pockets you need on the side, car the light cargo, or they are cargo pants with all the pockets on them. I have sold several pair of these camouflage pants already this season. People start looking for these when this time of year. They're gonna go hunting pretty soon. This is extra, these are extra large. They're 2X. Mm-hmm. 2X. And it says real tree hardwoods design. And then buy Redhead. Redhead is a good hunting brand to look for. You see a lot of this at Bass Pro Shop sells these. The bottom of the leg is a drawstring type leg. I got those in my store. Here's another little clothing item. Now these also, I guess, these are uh, Nike, look like track pants or jogging pants or running pants, athletic pants. Anyway, they're waterproof. They got the Nike emblem right there. They got some other emblems on the side here. It probably means something. I don't know what though. Right there, you can see that. Okay. I said they're waterproof, they're a little bit heavy, warm. Be good wear this time of year if you're out running the dragon and or if you like to go running when it's raining. Who knows? <laughs> but that's the first time I've seen a pair that was waterproof. These sell around the $25, 30 range. I think I paid $2 for these. That was a half price sale, $2. Okay. So another little item here. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but one of the one of the best shirt brands to look for, or one of many good brands, is Sir Pendleton. Sir Pendleton shirts. There's a good following for Sir Pendleton. They have a high resale value. This is size medium. So a blue, green, and red plaid. This had been one of my husband's old shirts. He's had a few years, hasn't worn it in a long time. He told me I could sell it. <laughs> and it's wool, 100% virgin wool. People are gonna like that when it starts getting cold outside. Well, probably it's cold somewhere else. It's just not really cold here yet. It's getting down in the mid 60s at night here. Okay, got a couple of nice jackets here I bought half price. This is a good time of year to start looking for coats, sweaters, jackets. This is vintage from the 70s or 80s. I looked it up online, the brand. It is called, okay, where's my brand? Hmm. That's not the chess king. Pioneer wear. 
a tradition since 1938. And even better over here it says, made in USA. It's a nice man's corduroy jacket. And it's got leather patches on the elbow. A lot of men love those leather patches on the elbow. I always look for those. In fact, when I found this jacket at Savage Army, the only thing I saw sticking out was that little patch like this. When I saw that patch, I grabbed it. It's got the split coattail on the back. Makes it easier for driving. This is a size 42. It doesn't have a size tag in it, but my husband was a 40, so he tried it on. He said it was a 42. He can tell. I kind of thought it was when I picked it up. I did take measurements. I always measure my clothes when I list them. I measure across the, uh, the chest here and the length, and sometimes the arm. Oh, this one's heavy. Here's another nice jacket. This is a vintage jacket from the 70s. This is the one I looked up earlier. It's an older brand called Chess King. This is an all leather suede jacket, and it's got a let me see on the side here. A double pocket here, pocket there, and another pocket above it. I've never seen that feature before on a coat or blazer. Two, two slits like that on one side. And it's got another pocket on the other side. Let me see. It's a nice jacket, blazer type. Uh, these sell around the $75, $80 mark. I think I paid, yeah, I paid up for this. I paid $20 for this. That was half price. They had marked 39, I paid half, which is 20. But I should get around 70, 75 for it. So I'll still get a lot of profit off of this. Okay, what else we have here? Here's something I like to get, because I picked this up because I saw a tag hanging on it, a new tag. See? <laughs> this dress still has a new tag on it. Anything has a new tag, I'm gonna grab it usually. That makes it easier to sell when it's got a new tag on it. It's a size 3X. Uh, larger sizes easier to sell faster and a little easier on eBay than small sizes. This is a maxi, more of a summertime dress, but anybody living in, living in warm weather areas like Florida, Hawaii, California can still wear this. Let me see, that's, yeah, that's the front of it here. And it's got an elastic waist right here. That's nice. Be nice and comfortable. I just love the style of that. It's way too long for me, though. It's about 54 inches long, and I paid, let's see, half price for this one. Okay, I paid $3 for this one, half price. Mm. And this will probably go around $20, $25. Okay, put this back over here. Put this little coat out of my way. That little coat's got some weight to it. <laughs> okay, this is a ladies' Crofton. Barrow, extra large, quilted vest. And it's got four zippered pockets around it on the front here. Makes it easy if you want to go walking in the mornings and just slip some ID, your keys, or a phone down that pocket. It zips up. And on the back here, it's got an elastic drawstring waist. So you can draw it together after you put it on. Draw it tight around your waist. I just thought that was a nice little vest here. Quilted vest. One of my favorite colors, red too, kind of burgundy. And I picked this up for $2.50. That was half price, $2.50. Okay, let me see, move this over here. I don't pick up too many uh, formal dresses, but I came across two that were gorgeous. And for the price, I couldn't pass them up. I guess it made me think about it, because uh, my niece was getting married in November. So, uh, I know people are gonna be looking for Formals, uh, this color, this color, she's even beige in her wedding a lot. That's what made me just think about this when I saw it. You see, that's the front, yeah. It's a beige formal. I just saw, saw that glitter was gorgeous on there. If you look at it close, see the glittery uh, sequence, yeah, sequence. All over the dress. Goes halfway down, that's a part of it. And it's long. It's about 54 inches long. Looks like it's never been worn. Someone may have worn it one time and got rid of it. Who knows? But it's a size 10. And I only paid five bucks for this. Another gorgeous dress. 
I bought these at the same time. They were side by side. I wonder if they came from the same person. They're both a size 10. They look alike almost. Both beige. Maybe uh, two people wanted the same wedding. Who knows? But this one still has a tag on it. Brand new tag. I don't think it's been worn because it's got the tag on it. It's also a size 10. But what makes this gorgeous is the macrame. Look at that macrame work on there. The little cap sleeve. The lace. I love lace. And macrame lace is even gorgeous. Even more pretty. And it's also oh, extremely long. <laughs> it's 54 inches long. Now, this one has a, a kick pleat in the back. About 21 inch. I measured it. It's got a 21 inch kick pleat when you're walking. Makes it easier to walk. This other dress does not have a kick pleat. It's just a pullover. This has a kick pleat and it zips up the back. Uh, the zipper goes about probably about down to your waist. Now check that. Oh, when you buy some zippers, I always make sure the zipper works. But sometimes you don't want to get something at home and the zipper doesn't work on it. I did that one time to a pair of jeans. Never again. I always check my zippers. Kind of learn from your mistakes that way. Now, talking about jeans, I've got a few pair of jeans here. Two or three pair here. I pick up jeans all the time. They're usually an easy sell. I sell more men's jeans than ladies. And all these jeans, I got half price. These are Levi Strauss, 541. And these kind of a bigger size, a 46 by 32. The larger sizes usually sell a little bit faster than small sizes. They are in great shape. The hems look nice. There's no holes in them at all. And what's unusual, the belt loops. Look at these belt loops. These belt loops are wider than usual. I didn't measure it. I don't have a measure. That looks like about a two inch wide belt loop. Got the uh, usual five pockets. But I have sold several Levi Strauss. In, in my inventory before. I like to pick up Levi, Wranglers, and unusual uh, brands I don't know about. These are Arizona brand. I've sold, I've sold some Arizona before. Let me see. These are in nice shape. They were a size, I know a little bit bigger. 44, I think. Sometimes the little tags are hard to find on here. And sometimes they're right in your face. Here it is, upside down. 44 by 34. I have sold Arizona before, so I picked them up again. Okay. Oh, one more pair to show you. These caught my eye because of the embroidery stitching. Whenever I see jeans that have something embellished on them or uh, some type of embroidery, I always pick them up. These are a brand called Aku. A-K-O-O. -O. Besides embroidery, they got uh, stud work all on the back. Those little studs right there. And see both, both back pockets are embroidered there. And the front little, the little watch file pocket is embroidered also. The front pockets have the stud work around them. And what's even, this has really unusual belt loop. Look at the belt loops on the back, in the middle. I have never seen belt loops like that before. And also on the inside, not that anybody's going to see it when you're wearing it, but the inside is has some unusual artwork. Inside the pocket has a picture, <laughs> I can get it on there, of a fox. Yep, that's a fox on the inside. And on the other pocket, they put some type of little poem or a saying on there. says, I never saw a wild thing uh, pray for itself. Don't let the world tame your heart. Be kinder and not the, no, be a hunter and not the hunted, a coup. I just thought that was so unusual. These are in perfect shape. See, I think there was one tiny flaw on the hem down at the very bottom, just a little bit of fraying. But I think on jeans, it's not going to hurt a pair of jeans if they look a little frayed. Just makes them look more natural, sort of. They have a little fraying on the bottom sometimes. I have sold several pairs of jeans with fraying around the bottom. Especially Harley Davidson. I have sold several Harley Davidson, Davidson that had frayed edges. They don't seem to care. <laughs> they still sell. Well, I think that's it for tonight. 
gonna call it a wrap and uh, see what I can go find next few days. May go shopping again next week. Oh, it's been a long day. I did a lot of listening today. Let me tell you something. Last week or one of the other videos, I showed you that Encyclopedia Britannica map that played music and it, it told the capitals of each state that sold today. Now, I've had that store, my store, probably barely two or three weeks. I paid $5 for it, if you remember. So today, I took a best offer of $30. And I'm going to be shipping it out tomorrow. So, <laughs> there is some profit to be made in this little treasure you find. Just hunt around. I love to go to thrift stores and yard sales where I can find them. Let me see. I may go to another thrift store this weekend again. Anyway, y'all have a good night. I want to call it quits for now. Pull this stuff up. Get ready to go to bed. And don't forget, Christmas coming up. I'll be listing things in my store pretty soon for Christmas. Y'all take care. God bless. See you later.